Today I'm playing a Recruit Warrior with a little bit of Black Howl Gunspire synergy. We've of course got Double Warpath, which we would be playing without the Gunspire, but works very well with the Gunspire. We've got a copy of Whirlwind, a copy of Inner Rage, and two copies of Sudden Genesis. That way if we're left with a 3-7 Gunspire on the board, we can make additional Gunspires. We can Whirlwind those, they do even more damage. And unless the opponent's playing like Twisting Nether or something, they just won't be able to deal with all the Gunspires without losing their board and half their HP. To go along with the Sudden Genesis and the Recruit theme, we've also got some big Chargers, Gromish, and two Devil Soars. One of the most powerful things this deck can do is you have Woe Cleaver in play already, you smack the opponent in the face for three and hit Gromish, you drop Inner Rage on it, it goes up to 12 power, you double Sudden Genesis and hit the opponent for 51 total damage that turn. Obviously that's pretty unlikely, but it does happen occasionally, and to a lesser extent you can do a similar thing with Charged Devil Soar for 31 damage. I've also got a Rot Face because of the Whirlwindy stuff, and a Darius Crowley. Not a great recruit target, but of the cards you don't really want to recruit, it's the one you feel like the least bad about. And it's also just a good card to play on turn 5, which this deck appreciates. Other than that, we're mostly just trying to stay alive. We've got a Brawl, some Shield Blocks couple blood razors, some executes, a shield slam, a couple bring it on. We're just trying to stay alive, recruit big dudes, hopefully kill people with gunspire, and if not, we run large minions at their face. I think I'll keep Darius Crowley. He's my worst recruit target. And there's very few cards I want to keep in the opener. Mostly just Blood Razor and uh, Forge of Souls to draw Blood Razor. All right, looks like I'm passing a couple turns. Unfortunately, I can't quite Shield Slam the Twilight Drake. I could armor up Shield Slam Whirlwind it, but then I give him an extra draw off the Acolyte. Don't love that. Could Shield Slam execute it? Seems like this is probably just a Mind Blast list. I could probably get away with that, honestly. And then from there, the curve is just Darius, Recruit, 8 drop into 8 drop. I hope I don't regret this, but I feel like his deck probably doesn't have that many threats, and I have a pretty solid curve for the next four turns. Pretty easy Darius. Alright, fair enough. So I actually have a few options next turn. I can coin out an 8, I can just play the Gunspire, I can Gunspire coin Whirlwind, or I can just pop off with Warpath on Rotface. That's probably not so great because he'll have Psychic Scream, but we'll see what he does and then decide... Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I guess I'm just gonna drop the Gunspire into this board. There goes my Whirlwind. So I could try to just deal a bunch of damage with Warpath here. It's pretty much guaranteed to kill his Geist. Or I can just play a Charge Double Soar. I think I like that a bit better. If he's not careful, next turn can be Double Sudden Genesis, hit him for 28. Damn. Ooh, I can Sun and Genesis this now. <laughs> I've seen a Psychic Scream. Do I just double Sun and Genesis and then hope I can Warpath the following turn? This is a highlight real play. Probably not optimal. 
I've seen one scream. I don't think I've seen a Shadow Visions yet. But if he has to Shadow Visions into a Psychic Scream, then that's like one less Mind Blast. So is he dead here? I'm not sure if he's dead, but he's going to take a lot of damage. Yeah, he's definitely dead. I only have to cast it one more time, even. No. Who concedes there? Who concedes to the quadruple gunspire lethal? Oh my god. Since I have the Blood Razor already, I'll keep the Recruit card. We have turned our curse into our strength. Looks like I'm just going to hero power pass for a couple turns. Could coin out the blood razor here, but it seems unnecessary. for the blood razor here and then if his board isn't brawlable I'll probably just coin this out next turn we got the whirlwind set up if I hit rot face or gunspire I don't love coining out my six when I have two eights in my hand but I'm also not a huge fan of doing nothing this turn so let's go for it on a rot face, which is a good reason to use the weapon. This one turned out nice. That could be interesting, but not very likely to be useful. I could inner rage my guy to get an extra use out of the rot face, but then his Twilight Drake can just trade into it. Right now, it can't. Something gross. Hell yeah! Let's go. What were you going to do, friend? Play Defile? Be my guest. If I really wanted, I could pop off with Warpath here. But I don't think I like that too much. I could Inner Rage my Gunspire. 50% of the time it kills the Dread Infernal for me. Or I could just execute it, or I could go for the shot, and then if I miss, just execute it. The Inner Rage is definitely better used on Gromish, that's for sure. Let's just execute for now. I don't want to overreact too much. Alright, I think it's time for a Warpath play. Don't let me down, Gunspire. Okay, you're not doing so good so far. Let's hit that Doomsayer once. Alright, not an optimal target. Gunspire, buddy. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna play it safe. Take out the Doomsayer like that. So, I mean, my Gunspire did six face damage. It's not bad. I also did need to hit the Homunculus once, didn't I? Alright, so the Gunspire did a thing. And now he's thinking that Gunspire's almost dead. Not gonna have to deal with it anymore. Bam. Rampage.
That's weird how the drain soul healing comes up right when the uh, the bomb hits. All right, probably not like a great one one Darius Crowley, but I can't exactly say it's terrible either. I'm a little tempted to just play Scourge Lord Garrosh and hit him for eight damage here. If I gain five armor, I go up to what twenty four. There's no way he can kill me from twenty four, so he's gonna have to deal with my board. And I won't be able to Grom him next turn, but I can Grom him on turn 10. Well, I guess I can next turn, if he's just at 7, because then Grom plus weapon. Can also kill his Mountain Giant. But I'm going to hit him in the face. I think there's a good chance a Hooked Reaver is going to come down this turn, which means it'll be hard for me to kill him. But I do have a Brawl if I need to play it. Not a hooked reaver. Okay. That's a lot of taunt points he put in play. So it looks like a brawl. Show me the Sun Fury Protector. Easy. Get him for four. And I don't think there's much reason to play either of these. Playing this is just scary. So I'm just gonna pass. No way he can kill me from here. If he tries to play a couple small taunts, I can go Darius, bump, and then Sudden Genesis, bump the second Darius, and weapon his face. Or I guess I could just, you know, Shadow Mourn into it and then Grom his face. So many possibilities. But if he just plays like a Hooked Reaver, I don't have much defense. Um, this should just pull... Um, this guy. So I have Grom lethal here. Bam. Got him. Good thing I had lethal there, because I didn't have a great way to deal with that board. Well, I guess I could have gone for a Darius play, right? Try to find Blood Razor. Well, I can forge a souls into a Blood Razor. That's pretty good. Have this for turn five or six. Execute if he gets an early Edwin. I think this could be okay. I don't think I need to coin out Bloodraiser here. Just a 1 2. Welcome to my web. Let's go for the Bloodraiser here. I'm not really sure where I should attack, actually. I could hit here and then set up for just the Whirlwind to clear this board, but I take a lot of damage making that hit. Could just go ahead and kill the Firefly. I guess I'm always taking the same amount of damage, huh? Let's just do this. It kind of deters him from playing anything else this turn, which is okay with me. Unfortunately, I've drawn Gromish, Gunspire, and Rotface, so this Whirlwind setup with the Coin Gather Your Party is probably not going to be that good. Oh, he actually played this here. I might have to execute this turn instead of, uh, instead of gather your party. Which I think is fine, honestly. Because coining out the, uh, coining this thing out didn't seem super good. Because without coining it out, I missed the end turn button. Without coining it out, I have a 6, 7, and then plenty of 8s curve. 
So, like, instead of having a slow turn this turn, I would just have a slow turn next turn. Also, I played Bring It On there. Because he's Miracle Rogue, he doesn't have that many minions anyway. And I just want to get the armor before I start sinking all my mana into this kind of stuff. So, likely to hit a Devil Sore here. Actually, everything that I pulled out of my deck was able to kill one of his things here, which is cool. I'm a little tempted to just hit him in the face. But it opens me up to, like, Vile Spine and Sap and stuff like that. So I'll get some use out of my guy. I don't think I necessarily need to just be hitting him in the face as hard as I can in this matchup. That's definitely not a card you want to discount. That's kind of bad. I don't have any AoE in my hand. So no way to deal with this Auctioneer. But luckily he already had both of his preps, so... Maybe I don't even need to deal with the Auctioneer. Oh, I guess I can Woe Cleaver, Coin Woe Cleaver, and then I always hit a Charge or Rush minion to kill this. That's probably the play here. Good Warpath instead, I would have to Coin it to kill this. Seems like a bad use of the Warpath in this deck. Come on, Devil Soar. It's Crowley, I don't end the turn with board presence. Nice. I'm at 13 though, so I'm dead to like Leroy Cold Blood Eviscerate. I think I've only seen one of each of those, the Cold Blood and the Eviscerate. But he doesn't have that many cards in his hand. 16 in deck still, although three of these are spiders. Alright, so I can actually hit here, pull Darius Crowley, Crowley bumps in here, and then I Sudden Genesis, send a Devil Sword in here, Crowley in here, and then another Devil Sword to his face. Plus I can gain some armor to go along with that. So I kind of like the look of that play. Alternatively, I can just bump here, bump here, pull Crowley, then I have to like Grom into this. That's not too bad, but I think I kind of like a line of play that lets me get some armor this turn. So, probably shield block after this. I'm at nine. Could go up to 14. That's a little bit risky. I'll just go bring it on. Which is also a little bit risky, because he could theoretically have a one mana Leroy Jenkins in his hand. But even with a one mana Leroy, it's kind of hard to just have the amount of damage needed to kill me here. And if he doesn't have that amount of damage, I have a lot of stuff in play. But second Auctioneer could definitely do a number on my board. Ah, had to backstab his own thing because all my stuff is damaged. Alright, there's a Vile Spine. I have 13, 16, 20. That's lethal. Nice. 